footage after this woman, Shauna Gibbons, was arrested after allegedly trying to lure kids into her car to get food in the middle of a busy park. 13 Action News' Tom George has more from Nye County. Well, usually just before the sun goes down, this whole park is full of kids and families, and police say that's exactly when this woman came to the park trying to lure kids into her car. Luckily, though, parents noticed what was going on before those kids could even leave the parking lot. As the kids in Pahrump run and play, parents have been talking. You don't hear stuff like that where ladies in Pahrump are just luring little children into their car. A guy or like some kind of creepy dude in a van. Even law enforcement admits it's a little strange. Quite frankly, I've, I've hardly ever heard of a female perpetrator committing this type of crime. But police say that's exactly what happened Thursday evening. They say this woman, Shauna Gibbons, went to Ian Deutsch Memorial Park asking young kids to get in her car, promising to take them to get food at Sonic and McDonald's. There's enough people that come to this park all at one time to where you're not going to notice some little kid getting to a creepy van. Police say Gibbons even targeted a disabled boy whose parents took him home before police arrived. But things didn't end there. When another parent confronted Gibbons about what she was doing, police say she flashed her. This is, uh, Definitely odd. Deputies say they found Gibbons in the driver's seat wearing a see-through shirt. As to why she was approaching kids, she told them she just wanted to make friends. That she uh, does this occasionally and that she appears to get along with lots of children. Parents just glad it won't be their children. You never know what can happen. An important lesson in stranger danger. Kyla, would you get in the car if someone asked you to go to McDonald's? No. Good, good answer. Now we tried to reach out to the suspect's family. We called a number listed for her and we we're able to get in touch with a relative who told us that she's out of her mind and she's where she belongs. Now right now she's in custody at the Nye County Jail facing several charges. In Pahrump, Tom George, 13 Action News.